going for a snowshoe hike today. It's about minus 20, bloody windy. Man, oh man, is it windy out there. I think the wind chill is closer to minus 40. I just pulled into a, just a, behind a point here, out of the wind, so that I could bare hand the camera. Because otherwise I can't even touch it out there. And just, just standing here, I'm fogging up. I can pull this face mask down and, and slowly defog. Out in the wind, when this face mask is up, as I'm facing into the wind, it will, uh, it will generally defog the glasses as long as I try to breathe through my mouth more instead of my nose, because the nose, the, the, the air goes up and fogs the glasses. Fogging now. But once I get out in the wind, it I can keep it reasonably defogged. When I cut through the bush, I won't need this on. I can I can slide it down, which is convenient. But uh, out in the open lake today, for my nose, it's not my face; it's my nose. I gotta have this mask. Okay, more trekking. Taking a quick snack break here in the Lee. It's, ama it's amazing when you get in, in a bright sunny day out of the wind. It's minus 20 out here and I can hold the camera and it's uh, quite pleasant. Insulated water bottle. And some snacks. This is a trail. If you watched a video I did a while back last month, my buddy Woolman and I came through here and uh, bushwhacked a trail into a back lake and it's all it's uh, we've had about a foot of snow since then and I'm gonna go travel over it but there should be a good packed set up base and see what there is to see in the next lake grouse tracks and I've found the lake Rabbit tracks heading off across this small lake. This is what the owls must dream about. This is a fine little lake. Who knows what kind of fish are in here. And what I really like is this bay right here. I wish the, the zoom is busted on my camera now, it won't work, but. I see lots of black spruce and jack pine and dead standing in there, which would make a great campsite. Oh, and it's flat too. So the face mask is working pretty good. This is a different one than I had before. It doesn't seem to fog up as bad. I can seem to unfog the glasses fairly, fairly easily and then in the bush. As soon as I'm out of any wind, it fogs up, so I pull down and then can, can pull back up. A pretty good breathing hole here. No snowmobile trails in here at all. It's quite a wild little backcountry lake. and I, I doubt anybody gets in here fishing in the winter because there is all this dead standing wood right on the shore and on ice fishing lakes that tends to be cut for for day fires for the fishermen so I'm just looking at the structure here I don't see any saw cuts These beautiful fuel wood logs on the shore are real indicative of a place where nobody comes in the winter otherwise they would have harvested those logs Time for a snack break. One of the tricks you can do with snowshoes is just find a little bank. I'm tucked into a lee and in full sunlight. I'm going to skip the lunch fire this time. In a previous video I made one, but uh, I'm in a 
I'm in hiking mode and I haven't got time to slow down too much and I'm not cold at all. So this is a this is a little trick for resting. Uh, as soon as you get off your snowshoes you post hold down so I just crunch to place for my feet and I can sit on my gauntlets for a, a warm dry butt or I walk back in the bush and we're in the middle of sort of nowhere here and I got some uh, balsam and spruce boughs and I think I'll sit on those oh yeah that is nice and good for my back to to have a, a place to bend my knees and sit up straight and rest for a while well I'm essentially at the end of the lake reach my objective look at that big old stand of old red pine we're not quite at the northern edge of the range of red pine here but we're getting close so that's nice to see around here.